Hello and a warm welcome to another workshop about the Mobotics Hub and with the new functionality of the 2021 R2 version. Today we have Mikey on the call who has prepared a Move camera with integrated analytics of the Move camera and he would, would uh, demonstrate how to use the Mobotics Hub to configure and playback such kind of events. Hello Mike. Maybe before we start with the settings, can you shortly describe which camera do you have used and which analytic events of that move camera you have enabled for the demonstration? Hello, Jörg. Yes, of course. Um, I'm using a 5 megapixel move dome camera here and I have enabled the intrusion detection video analytic app in the camera. Okay. Um, I think before we getting too much into details how to configure that, the simple question how a user can identify his intrusion events very quickly with the desk client. Here for we have the Mobotics Hub desk client and we click can click on search and then we have a time range we can select and, and the next, ne next step the camera itself and then I got some events of that. I think that it's now all events of the camera. So it's not only intrusion, there's also including video motion and signal in. Um, is that correct? That's correct. And therefore, for a better analysis and search, I can add some filters here. And I click on search for. In this case, I select bookmarks and click on new search. And I defined a bookmark here with the name intrusion. And then I got the analytic events for that bookmark. Okay, that bookmark word intrusion, it's free defined by yourself during the configuration, but it shows how easily you can um, uh, selecting the right events and uh, get very fast to the result what you're looking for. Um, I think from the operating point of view that it's, it's, it's quite easy. Um, can you also make a double click of one of that events? I think there's also the possibility to see the object um, tracking um, how that will work. Yes, um, when you double click on that, you get a bigger image of your recording. And when you click on playback, you can see the yellow bounding box here. Um, that is the metadata from the analytic event, and it shows where an uh, object is detected. That means the camera is not only delivering the video stream, it's also delivering via OnWith protocol the metadata that the Mopotics Hub is able to show where the object was detected and gives um, the installer the possibility to adjust maybe the object detection later on to in the size and in position of the intrusion area. Okay, maybe I think it's now time to show a little bit how we have configured that. Can you go to the important steps, how to set up the camera and how to set up the management client settings? Yes, of course. Uh, in the camera itself, you have the video analytic event and you have the possibility to select several analytic events. In this case, I use the intrusion detection and therefore you have to define an intrusion zone where the objects will be detected and some object size. A big one, a maximum and a minimum object size so that the camera knows which object should be detected. Okay. And yeah, please move on. In the net next step, you have the possibility to define a dwell time um, of the, for the object and the direction which the object can or should be uh, detected. That means the move analytics allows a lot of different variables to reducing the false alarms or really to specify which event, which direction of the object in that intrusion area, for example, should trigger really an alarm and a recording. That's great. That was all for the camera settings, what we need to do in the camera browser. And what is the, about the uh, event action rules in the Mobotics Hub? Therefore, you have to go into the management client and add your camera via on with in the Mobotics Hub. And then you click on the camera itself on the event setting and then you can set click on add and you see all the move specific events 
and can select them to trigger the hub to do something else. In this case, I already selected the intrusion started event and the hub can react on it. Cool. And what about the metadata? Um, therefore, you need to activate this one to enable it, and that's all. The metadata are um, sending from the camera to the hub, and then the hub can record or react on the metadata itself. And therefore, you have to create a rule for this one. I've created some um, rule before. In this case, I um, react on the intrusion starlet event from my 5 megapixel move camera and then I start a recording with 2 seconds pre-alarm and the robotics move live stream is recorded and also the metadata which are sent via on with to the hub is also recorded and for a better search I create a bookmark for each intrusion event. Okay, that means that your pre-defined um, configuration, maybe that the participants here who are watching that video get a better overview. Um, when you changing that, instead of say intrusion detection, you'd say object removement or vehicle started or parked, what, what, you, what we need to do? We need to change the event which is triggered, in this case also or at one time in the rule itself, when I open it and edit the rule, I can click on intrusion started and then I can use, for example, the object removal event started. I click on it and maybe also rename my bookmark event for a better search. Click on OK and the rule is now created to react to the object removal event, but now you also need to tell the hub, okay, you have to hear about um, another event. So you go on the camera event and add the object removal event started here. Save it, and now when an object is removed, uh, the, the hub can react on it. Oh, well, it's quite simple. First, define the event uh, action rule, yeah, and then define which event should belongs to which camera. I think that this is quite easy and allows us and the partners to using the combination between camera edge analytic and also the centralized um, solution of our Mopotics Hub VMS. I would say thank you to you, Mike, and have a nice day and talk to you in the next workshop. Bye bye.